morning everyone, it's Matthew again and I hope you're having a nice evening. It's now 8.29pm here in the Northern Hemisphere in the UK and it's the 15th of the 3rd 2017. And also we're going to try and have a look at some Swiss cams. And it's so evident that the, uh, the chemtrail and spray in the skies over there as well to stop people from seeing the Nibiru system. Because uh, Nibiru is heading our way. And our skies are completely changing, it's so evident now. So eyes to the skies and just keep watching and you'll notice on the sunrise it's very strange as well the spray in the right hand side and again on the sundown as well it's very red on the horizon the opposite side on the west side this huge red reflection coming from the horizon and i'm going to go to the swiss cams now so have a nice evening and let's get going on the cams here we have an image in switzerland that was today and it's a live cam thing is so basically you can see those cams can't you and the haze as well that we see on the mexico cams and also the skyline cams we're getting a lot of foggy misty cams up there every day and also on the land can you see those trees they're just not growing right are they not getting the right light from our natural sun the yellow sun anymore i'm going to go to another cam now but the thing is so it's just important to show you that they are chemtrailing all across the globe, aren't they? Everywhere now. Here is another repeated image, and you can see that later on in the day that they chemtrailed. I mean, these are not planes that are lost and can't find their way about. Pilots that have just been riding their flying planes for the past few days. No way. These are definitely military planes spraying the skies and basically causing the people on the land as well to be very ill. I'm going to go to another image on this cam. Here on this last image on this cam, you can see a reflection, can't you? This is haze coming up on the west side. Chem trailing. There's a huge object reflecting there. And all the trash on the horizon as well. It's so evident here in the other parts of the world. And if they're spraying other parts of the world, then we're in trouble, aren't we? Because um, there's no other reason for it, is there? They say it's to do with um, geoengineering and weather manipulation cause of the uh, climate change i mean the thing is though that i mean they are so petty lies and deceit to the public all the time we're being lied to i mean never believe fox news never believe cnn sky news here in the uk the bbc i mean they're all out to basically lie to every single one of us it's all a hoax that's all there is on the, the tv media and internet um, reports as well of um, people, these companies, these uh, news reports saying that chemtrails are just contrails. And I mean, come on, you know, you, it's happening every day now. We can all see it, can't we? You can see on this live Swiss cam as well that the sun's being chemtrailed, covered up by these toxins over there in Switzerland. I mean. Everywhere is being chemtrailed, these strange cloudings as well. Everywhere is being hammered by these chems. Here as well, on this Swiss cam as well, the sun just looks strange, doesn't it? Watch the sun go past. It sort of goes across the screen, not down. And all those chemtrails as well. Can you see this? It just looks like a square. It doesn't look round anymore, does it? Very strange times. Here it is, zoomed in on the Swiss cam. You can see this uh, object and those chems to the left hand side ready to cover it. I'm going to show you this uh, square object as well. It's very, very strange, isn't it? How the sun acts like this on this webcam. There it is, a square object in front of that sun. The simulator that changes shape, I believe so, because um, on other cams as well, you get this hexagon shape, a diamond shape, a square shape, a round shape. I mean, these are mirrors that are cloaking the uh, heavenly body, our sun. And on the ground as well, and the clouds and the chems, I mean, it's all happening. It's a huge agenda that's basically covering our eyes. So we don't get to see those heavenly bodies every single day. This is happening. And it's a real crying shame that people need to uh, look up to the skies now and notice this is happening. I do believe that many people out there are noticing that there's so many changes going on up there now. And again, I watched a documentary weather report for March 
and there's some very strange weather patterns going on. Sinkholes again, that's happening everywhere, earthquakes. and The media just want to shut it down, don't they? Don't want you to know, do they? You know. Anyway, I'm going to go to another Swiss image for you. Yet again, we've got the uh, Swiss cams here, and this is up in the snow in the mountains. And I just want to show you, and flip through this cam, okay, the different skies, the changing of the skies as well. You can see here as well, look at the uh, chemtrails on the horizon and those uh, unnatural chem clouds. You can see this, can't you, on the sky there that's basically illuminated with the uh, simulator sun and how dark the land is as well. I'm going to carry on to the cam and you can see basically all these chems again. People on the ground, they must be aware of this. They've got to start becoming aware of this situation before it's too late because uh, they just don't want to say anything, government. Here we are again, you've got those chems on the horizon. And then as you flip through the cam, you've got an object that's illuminating here. You'll see this. You see this here, that's illuminating this object. These are chemtrails. I mean, they're spraying the skies above mountains now. They really are. Always spraying the skies now, right across the uh, Everywhere, everywhere, all over the world now, it's being sprayed. I mean, look at the skies. We're getting the same skies on all the other cams, even here in the UK. They're just the same clouds. Look, I mean, look at the chemtrails. They really think that, that we can't see it. They seriously think we can't see any of this. I'm going to go to another cam now. Here's another beautiful, beautiful part of the world in Switzerland. And I mean, you'll see the sun is in heavily chemtrailed. I mean, it's getting to a crazy point of a situation now, isn't it? I mean, look through the cams now, and you can see all the chemtrails and everything. Very strange. And also, I mean, you look, there's a gap here. And this grey blanket of chems, again, just everywhere. Flip through the cam and you will see this. Look at the sun, the way it's been chemmed and all these other chemicals they don't mix the chemicals don't mix the amount of poisons in the sky now hiding the binary twin nemesis the death star is here now it's basically right in front of our sun now i mean again look at this image it's just outstanding what they're doing i mean all these people can you see all these people that are in the restaurant having their drinks and resting and everything they've got to notice the skies now they're not seeing that beautiful yellow sun anymore. They're just seeing these strange clouds in the skies. A lot of people that do the uh, skiing are young people, and they're just so used to it now, aren't they? Seeing all these uh, strange colorings in the skies, and they're breathing it in. I mean, the thing is, though, it's very unhealthy, isn't it, for skiing, and exercise, and things like that, you know, sporting holidays. We're all breathing it in. We might as well just be smoking 50 fags a day. You know? It's just terrible what they're doing. And then we flip through the cam still and you'll see again. Can you see how the sun changes its shape on this uh, image? I mean, look at these chemtrails. Again, the people that are on the ground there, they're just turning their backs on it. Look at them. They're facing the wrong way. They don't want to see it. They just acknowledge their mobile phones. Look. See this lady here and her friend? I mean, they're just into their mobile phones. they are not got any interest. They haven't got any sort of knowledge of what's going on. Can you see the objects here as well? I mean, it's just they need to open their eyes. They really do. And I'm going to go to the next image here again. You can see this, can't you? Now all the people, most of them have gone now. There's no interest. I mean, it's so frightening to know that the public just don't want to see. As I said before in another video yesterday, I was walking around and I noticed the public just didn't want to see what was going on. There must have been about 70 chemtrails up there in the skies being burnt away by the sun. That simulator in front of it. The silvery haze, the darkness of the skies. I mean, look at the timestamp on this uh, webcam. 12.30. And it's too dark. We're being eclipsed by the binary twin. Nibiru is on its way. There's no... I mean, it's... So evident on the uh, the cams now, isn't it? I mean, look at the way they screen the skies right in front of our eyes, trying to hide what's going on. I mean, look at all this. This is all poisons and toxins and red reflections from the binary twin. There's other objects up there that's trying to burn through the, those cams. 
government have been lying to us for many, many years. And it's a situation where we need to wake other people up. The sun is at a point, and here is on the horizon. We've got this uh, other body that's light and illuminating the skies. I mean, look at it here on this cam. It's just absolutely evident. We've got some huge problem going on up there now. I mean, it's not those blue skies anymore. We've got these thick chems in Switzerland. The military over there will be spraying the skies. It's all a huge agenda. You can see the reflection here and also a chemtrail that's coming through. They are really pumping the skies now more than ever. Here in the UK, it's just as bad. Every morning when I uh, sort out the family and everything, I notice the skies. And I noticed they are really chemtrailing much more than last year and a few years before that. I've been noticing the skies. I mean, I started looking up and noticing the skies and I was very interested in planets and nights, uh, stars and things at the age of nine. And I've just been watching the skies ever since, looking up and just very interested in it. As I said before, my granddad and I, we used to go out and look at the stars and skies. And it was fantastic to see them. But the thing is, when you get so used to noticing the, sky, the stars, the original stars that were up there, very bright and white, but now we get these uh, yellow stars that look too close. And basically, the Orion's belt and things just don't look right anymore. Those stars are dim as well. And we've got this purpley atmospheric sky all the time. It's changed. It really has changed. My granddad could come back and look at the skies. He would tell me straight away that something is really seriously wrong. He used to study the skies for many years. I mean, on these cams, it's so evident, isn't it? It really is. It's a huge reflection there as well. I'm going to go on to another cam now. The thing is, though, uh, we are being poisoned right now, aren't we, by these uh, military, government, People that just think that it's right to do this, to stop mass panic and also to stop a problem with their banking system. Well, I'm afraid that many many people are waking up to this now. I'll be monitoring this cam as well, daily. So uh, you can see that red reflection from Nibiru as well on the mountains. Here's the cam again. Sometimes the cams break down. I'm going to go to another cam because this cam, I'm having trouble with this cam at the moment. It keeps breaking down. Again, you can see that red haze on the horizon there, can't you? And the yellowness as well. There's heavily bodies out there all the time. But I'm going to go to another camp. I apologise for the uh, breakage on this camp. Here on this Dutch arena. Now, the thing is, uh, this arena camp now, it's a situation. I mean, look over here on the uh, left-hand side. You can see these two red lines in the sky. So these chemtrails, I mean, what are they? I'm going to go through this camp for you. Here's a close-up of them two lines in the sky, and you can see the red clouds as well, illuminating. There is something huge and red that's illuminating those um, clouds as well. We know that that's Nibiru, that reddish, pinkish colour, and it's also on the uh, Ustream cams as well. The NASA cams, they can't hide it, can they? Cams still run it. But I believe they will cut the, uh, the feed off on them eventually when it gets too red out there as well. And you can see those clouds on the other side on the new stream cams on the earth as well. It's very, very red now, isn't it? They need to turn the cams around so we can see that huge object. And then it's game over, isn't it? We can prepare for this, can't we? We should be preparing now. The thing is, though, many other people will just want to see the 100% proof Sadly, government and the powers to be will not disclose the truth right to the very end. They're trying their hardest and they're working so hard on these uh, chemtrails now. Here's a live cam that's moving. I mean, look at the pinkness in the skies. Look at those chems. And basically the clouds, they're not real clouds anymore. They're just chems and they're illuminating. Nibiru is reflecting off all them chems and all them clouds. The skies are changing. It's March. And it's just too red again. Every day we're seeing this red sky. And I'm seeing this every morning when I wake up, when I get up and uh, sort things out. I notice a lot of things, strange things in the skies that's moving around. I mean, these chems are blocking the sun every day. And I just hope that I wake up one day and there's no chems. But it's so placid up in the skies now here in the UK. 
every single day on these cams. We need to keep checking them to see that around the world they're getting the same skies all this all the time. There's no change, isn't there? So I'm going to go to another piece of footage now and see what we can find. Here on this cam as well, we've got some uh, strange dark skies. And also, I mean, this is lens flare, what you can see here, but it's coming up as blue and that 50p, that sort of hexagon shape that that simulator is causing. I mean, on the land as well, it's too dark, very, very dark. And it's because the simulator is in front of the sun. We've been using it for years. And the darkness on the sky as well, I mean, very, very dark. It's a very strange chemtrail. I mean, the thing is, you can see this, can't you? These are not our natural clouds. Okay, 2.35 p.m. Look how dark it is on the land. It shouldn't be like this now. It really shouldn't. Other colorings in the skies as well, very dark again. Even at 12, 35, lunchtime. I mean, look at it. It's too dark again, every single time, isn't it? There's another heavily body that's above there. It's a different strange color in the skies. So over there in Switzerland, they're picking up all the reflections from the heavenly bodies now. It just looks surreal, doesn't it? Very spectacular, but very surreal. It just doesn't look right anymore. Very strange times here and here. I'm going to go to another um, image now. Here on this cam as well, you can see those cams. I mean, the screen and the sky and everything, it's just basically all changed everywhere around Switzerland, around the world. It's just very strange clouds. The sun just does not look right anymore, does it? Very crazy times. This one here as well, look at the, the way they spray the sun here on this cam as well, blocking everything. Every single day they're doing this. Just absolutely criminal, isn't it, what they're doing? This is another cam as well that's very interesting as well. I mean, the first thing you see is blue skies. Everything's just great, isn't it? You know, for a holiday over there, skiing and just enjoying a week or two weeks. Or even three weeks, depending, you know. It's just basically, if I flip through the cam, you will notice this. Watch this. What they do to the skies. You can see now that chems started to work. Crisscrosses in the sky. Again. There's objects up there as well that are very strange, don't they? I mean, there is an object there. I zoom in on this, it's very interesting. Now, this isn't lens flare, there's an object that's there. If you can just barely see, you can just see the redness of it as well. Now, horizon coming up on the horizon, very strange. Just we can start seeing this now, can't we? When they forget to chemtrail, we start seeing these huge, heavenly bodies that's out there in there. Looking in the uh, inner solar system right now. Again, you've got this other object as well. It's up there in the skies. I've no clue what it is, but it is there, isn't it? It's just basically uh, could be reflecting off that heavenly body. I don't know what it is. It could be just a chem cloud. The red reflection is just evident, isn't it? That there is something that's uh, going on up there as well. If I Zoom into both objects at the same time. We can try and catch the pair of them. You'll see this. Here is both objects. Okay. Here is the the round object you can just see on the uh, above the horizon. And this unexplained object as well could just be a chem reflecting through. I'm going to go to another image now. Here again on the cam, it's very chemy again. Again, what I've got to say is, please don't believe that these are normal natural clouds, because they're not. You can see the chemtrail that's starting to do its work again. Blast in the skies. This is all, again, chemicals. And this yellow tint on the ground as well is just not right, because we've got our sun covered by that simulator, that solar simulator. Here again, you can see the chemtrails that are spraying our uh, natural skies, and that object that's above our Earth's atmosphere. It's hiding the sun. Every time it's hiding the heavenly body, the sun and the binary twin. It's all up there now. Again, you can see how dim and dark it is for the time of the day. 9.29, 59 seconds. 
There you go again, you can see this, can't you? It's just evident, isn't it? The uh, skies are just completely changed. Six twenty-four. I mean, look at the haze, the ground. I mean, there's another body that's lighting up the skies there, isn't it? From darkness to lightness, and then dark again. It's every day now, isn't it? Here on this short clip video as well, you can see basically that the skies are being canned over this part of the uh, world as well. I mean, uh, look at it, it's disgusting. I'm going to go to another cam now. This one's very interesting as well. We get a red light source and a, a simulator that's going down on the horizon, but again, it's very dark. Also, you'll get a glare on the left hand side of the screen that's lens flare from the, uh, the cam, but basically, the skies are so evident they're spraying them and it's so evident again it's getting too dark it's a huge hole in our atmosphere as well the ozone layer has disappeared it really has we're being attacked by these solar flares every single day now it's a big problem and it's not been addressed on media and the government still think they're getting away with it you can see on this cam okay now this here is just part of the this is like a reflection Okay, it's nothing to do with it. But what I'm worried about on this cam is how dark it is. These thick chemtrails again in the skies, and this dark shadow. And I've said this before about this dark shadow. It's like sometimes it's so dark, it's like we're looking out into space in the daytime. There's like a hole in the atmosphere. I'm going to keep going on the cam. You can see how dark it is again. Too dark. And it's 11 a.m. on this cam as well. There it is again, very, very dark. And the uh, chemin is just being proce processed every single day. Here again as well, the cam is just, I mean, I keep saying it's dark, but it is. It's dimming, isn't it? The sun is dimming. We're going into three days of darkness. I, mean, I think this is a situation now that the, uh, the truth is coming out now, isn't it? I mean, look here. I mean, look at the shape of this supposed to be sun. This mirror that's in front of the sun again is hiding the binary twin. Now they can't hide the shadows. Now we would definitely see two suns up there now. Okay, it's no point denying this now because it's so true. Because I mean, look how dark it is. It's so dark. Here it is. You've got the uh, the object that's on the horizon, solar sun, and you've got the binary twin reflection on the right hand side. Got the blue and the red, these heavenly bodies that are in front of our sun now. Every single day we're seeing this, aren't we? Before I start this cam, I want to show you now here, okay, how dark it is getting, okay, and also the shape of this um, object that's in front of the sun. There's a chemtrail. These are all chems, and basically, we are being eclipsed. There's no shadow of a doubt. Because these cams prove it, that the skies are truly darkening from March 2017. We really are very close to these heavenly bodies now. And the military just keeps spraying the skies every single day. Here again on this Davos cam, okay, you can see that pink skies, that reflection on the horizon. Again, every single day here in the UK, it's exactly the same. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick through the cam, I'm going to make the cam run so you can see the difference now. The cam is now moving and you can see basically how the, uh, we're getting this red horizon every day, aren't we? And those uh, broken clouds, the natural clouds are just basically uh, just falling apart now, aren't they, every single day. So I'm going to go on to the other cams tomorrow as well, see what I can find, and also other bits of information that I can grab. You know, now that video I did today about the uh, the Earth that might be of, um, stopped in its orbit, I'm not too sure. You know, but it did basically stand out that report. But hey, I might get it wrong sometimes. I might get it right. But it's just keeping an eye to the skies, isn't it? Seeing that we are in troubled times because um, there is some strange colours and reflections and uh, objects that are up there now. And again. The Prime Minister and also here in the UK and also the President 
over there in the USA and presidents all over the, the world need to disclose this now and tell the public that what's going on because it's our earth, it's our world and we need to know, it's very important they shouldn't hide it from us anymore here on this cam as well, it's so evident that they spray in the skies all over the place I mean look at this, it's so important to see this there's objects up there as well, I mean look at the state of the sun going down it's just every day now I notice these two objects up there in the skies as well. Can you see these? It's like a markings on them and they're way up above the chemtrails. Very strange. I just thought I'd zoom in to show you these as well. Because the thing is though, there's lots of activity up there. They're spraying the skies to hide the bodies, the heavenly bodies and also other objects. It's just basically they don't want humanity to know. They don't want us to look up. Here's another object that was seriously hammered by chemtrails. Can you see this up in the skies? I mean, what is this? Very strange, square-looking object. It's uh, just covering this, being covered all the time. I see these objects as well on other uh, screens. Even when I video the skies, I've seen objects like this as well. If I zoom out, I'll show you this object. I don't think it's a plane or anything that we have any craft or any known craft or anything like that, but it's just there, isn't it? Just as the chemtrails are coming up and the sun and everything. I'm going to go now anyway, so uh, I'll be back again tomorrow to do some more uh, work on the uh, cams, try a different cam system in another part of the world and see what we can see with their skies as well. So thank you again for all your kind messages that you're sending in to me and respect to all of you and have a great day tomorrow from Matthew Rogers. Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Matthew. I hope you had a great weekend. I went away for a couple of days with the family, so now I'm back. And also, uh, we're looking at these uh, webcams as well, as you can see here on this Mexico D webcam. The time is 8.48.02 seconds a.m. in the morning. Again, you can see on this webcam, it's just absolutely dark in the skies. It should be a lot lighter. I've noticed something on this webcam as well, just here. Can you see this? This object, it actually starts here and then it goes across as the sun's moving. Simulator in front of it. This is a reflection from the simulator. It, it, it's just so evidential now, isn't it? I get frustrated with this because I just want to show people that the skies have completely changed. Here in the UK right now, we're looking at pink skies. And I think that everybody in the UK that's uh, viewing the channel can see they turn and have a look out the windows and look up in the sky just they see how red it is this time of the day at 608 pm now this object if i go on this webcam I'll, show, I'll zoom in on this object and then i'll show you that it moves across as the other the sun and the simulator is moving up in the opposite direction here is the object zoomed in you can see this kind of it's like um just here, this round edge and round it. Something is coming in on the horizon. You can see this, and I've been noticing this on the webcams. Um, a lot smaller, a lot fainter, but now it's um, starting to show itself now. You can see it. It's not a lens flare. This is a celestial body that's out there, 100%. I'm going to um, show you this now moving on the webcam. Okay. You can see this, can't you, on the opposite side. This is a reflection from the simulator. Now, this object is here now. It's on the right-hand side, and now it's here. But if I flip through, you can see this, okay? If I go back, it goes widescreen. I apologize about this. But yeah, you can see that then on the edge there, and then once we go through, there's that huge reflection, and you'll see it come out the other side. There it is. You can see this now, can't you? That is definitely a heavenly body because if it was a lens flare, it would just stay with this line and it wouldn't do anything. This thing is coming from the opposite side. It's behind, behind it and it's illuminating red. Can you see this now? Again, I apologize about the widescreen. Mexico cams do this on purpose. You can see it just here now, can't you? Here is another object zoomed in on that same webcam. 
before the sunrise. Can you see this? And if I tap away, you can see that again, can't you? It's below the sunrise. Now, the thing is, uh, right? You can see that, can't you? It could be anything, but the thing is, though, the way it moves and the way it's um, in darkness there. Just something to think about, isn't it? To uh, keep an eye on, which I will do for you subscribers. We're on now this uh, Mexico Santa Fe cam as well. Live cam, you've got the timestamp there and everything. And look at the object in the sky. Is this our sun? Because we've never got these and had these reflections before of this plasma on the horizon. Can you see this? A huge light source on the horizon and also the red reflection to each side on the horizon as well. Darkness in the skies. Again, they're Mexicans driving around, doing their day-to-day -day activities and going to work and doing what their business they're doing. They are realising, I'm hoping so anyway, that it's just getting too dark. We can't do anything about this because this incoming system that's been here before, 3,006 year, 100 year orbit, I mean, it's, it's been here before six times. And we really need to um, keep our eyes really close to this now because we're seeing the uh, changes of the skies and the darkness as well. Because here again, as I'm talking here in the UK and the Northern Hemisphere, we're getting very, very dim skies right now for the time of the day. Summer, spring, summer, supposed to be uh, getting lighter now. It's not, it's still very dark. This simulator is just a big giveaway, isn't it? The colour is completely wrong. Can you see the flashing on the screen as well? I mean, the thing is, so this, our sun's not supposed to be doing anything like that, you see. It's not supposed to flash like that. And also, Mr. Jeff P, his uh, channel, showing truth about that simulator object as well. Noticing the halos and very strange situations happening in our skies now. They're cloaking everything. I mean, it's too dark. I mean, we really need to keep our eyes in the skies on this one because uh, that object, I've noticed now, that the simulator is flashing a lot on the different cams now. It's not anything to do with the uh, camera trickery or the webcams breaking down or some sort of lens operation. It is happening right now. That simulator is basically, I believe, failing. And also those heavenly bodies are causing uh, huge shadows to cause it to flicker as well because uh, it's a man-made object, isn't it? It's bound to fail. I'm going to go to another cam. Here on this uh, Benidorm cam, okay, in Spain. Look what they've done on the skies. Can you see this? They've chemtrailed the skies here to hide an object that's there, that's basically going down on the horizon. All the plasma in the sky as well. I mean, this patch of uh, toxins and chemicals is basically really bad for us. Again, you can see the people on the right hand side of the screen walking around, still spraying our skies. Now, the thing is, though, the Spanish. They must be understanding this now, that the things are going seriously wrong up there in the skies. Because our huge light sources from other bodies as well, it's not just our sun that's going down. You've got Helium, the gas giant, you've got Nibiru, you've got the moons, and you've got the brown dwarf star as well, that's affecting our sun every single day. We are now, it's March, and we are now at the solar maximum with the sun. The corona holes are much bigger as well. And I'm going to show you a quick chart of uh, the update chart of, of the um, the sun with the Soho cam. This is the uh, live Soho cam chart. Okay, now we're still getting these huge blasts from the sun here and here as well, aren't we? And there's more and more trash that's being thrown around out there in the system. And again, Mother Earth is being affected every single day because of this. And also with those chemtrails, they're hiding all what's going on. Now, these may look like small dots to you, okay, on the screen, but they're not the huge objects. Now, you saw on the top hand side of the screen here this big flash that comes across. Did you see that earlier on? Should go again. That is a huge object that just went past. Now, the thing is, though, basically, as well, it's basically. 
Did you see that then again go past here? This wasn't from our sun, this is another object that went across here on the screen. It will come across again in, in shortly as it's a time lapse cam right across here on the left hand side. If you keep an eye on this side, yeah, you'll see this flash. It will come across and there it, there it is again. See, now there is lots and lots of stuff going on fireballs and also uh, huge asteroids. They won't tell you this. NASA, government, they will not extinguish this onto uh, weather channels, news channels. They don't want to frighten the public. They don't want to cause mass panic. But there's more and more things, objects and trash that's being thrown about out there. The Kuiper Belt has been uh, interfered with by these huge celestial bodies now. They've come through. All these asteroids are coming from one part of the uh, Kuiper Belt. And they won't, uh, again, tell the public this. They won't say anything to us. It's down to us to try and get the information out there. But again, we really need to just keep checking the cams, don't we, to see what's going on. But the sun is in a huge, terrible way now. It's got the binary twin in front of it. If they could move this disc out of the way, we will see the darkness here. There's a huge shadow. And we're seeing this on the cams here and here. These huge reflections. These are from other heavenly bodies that are blocking the view, blocking the... Um, the solar activity and the shadows and the lightness of the sun as well. So we're getting some uh, huge activities here as well. I'm going to go to another cam, okay? But the thing is that flash, very, very strange. Something flew across the sky. Just shows you though, doesn't it? There's lots of huge objects out there in, uh, in the solar system now that's moving about. And that is not coming from the sun, that, um, that object that flew through, past the screen there. I'm going to go to uh, another image for you now. This is another Mexico cam. It's called the uh, the Pico de Ozapa cam. Sometimes I might get the name wrong, but it's uh, important that we get the uh, the name of the cams as well as the name of Mexico cams and other cams around the world. Here, another image. Okay, now we've got that plasma on the horizon on the right hand side of the volcano the mountain. You can see this, can't you? And also, I've noticed this object. Now, there's nothing to say it's lens flare. But it looks strange, doesn't it? it? Could be the moon. It looks too big for the moon, doesn't it? So, uh, I'm just going to keep an eye on this for you guys as well. So it's important that we uh, spot everything that's out there that's not showing near the sun or anything like that, because the thing is, you can see the plasma on the horizon. It's very important that we get the, um, the right images and catch the right images up there. Here on this webcam as well, this is a Cosmo cam in Ponatetti. I mean, basically, uh, you can see that horizon, can't you? That plasma, it goes down on the horizon as well. This is not from our sun, this is on the opposite side, but look how it dips down and disappears on this cam. This is a heavenly body that's trying to come up on the horizon. And we've seen this on other channels and uh, shown you this before, but you can see how it fades away going down off the horizon. And other parts of um, the horizons as well, as I said before in another video, early in the morning we'll see these light sources are basically uh, like a sunrise and basically it comes up and goes down, it lights up the skies. I mean, can you see this changing on this webcam? It does start disappearing, it's very strange. You can see that uh, plasma coming from it as well. I do believe that we're going to see um, other suns up in the skies. They're coming up on the horizon, other objects, other uh, light sources. This is evident that, um, I mean, can you see that disappear then on the horizon? It's just absolutely outstanding. The sun is on the opposite side. I'm going to go to another cam now. You saw that, didn't you, on the disappear on the horizon there. I mean, on this image as well, NASA can't even get it right, can they? Other secret space agencies and uh, government, if they simulate them, look at the shape of the sun just doesn't add up at all does it basically they're cloaking these other heavenly bodies and it's just turning into a it doesn't look right does it there's an object here as well thing is so i mean i'm going to zoom in here it just doesn't look right at all does it now they're playing games now it's silly it's just that everybody that's watching this channel now they all know that something is absolutely different and wrong about the whole game is up now isn't it 
Here is the object that's zoomed in here. You can see this object here. Kind of, it doesn't move when the simulator's moving. This is a reflection. This is a huge reflection from a heavenly body. You can see the light and the sun and the light source here on the left hand side. Again, when the uh, sun and the simulator moves upwards, this just stays in the same place. It's always staying in the same place all the time. We're going to go to another image for you guys now. Now on this webcam as well, the Cosmo cam, another one in Mexico. I want to show you something now. The sun is coming from the opposite side. Timestamp there, 614, 04 seconds. Now on this cam, okay, you're going to see huge reflections that you would when you see the sun coming up as well on the simulator. That these reflections are coming through. So if I go through the cam, can you see these reflections? Now this is on the opposite side. Okay, there is another heavenly body that's basically going down on the horizon. The sun's coming up as well. Come down at, and up at different times. We're seeing these strange clouds as well up in the skies. These dark clouds that hide things. Okay, you've got this reflection here. If you look closely, I hope you can see this as well. If I go across again, I've got another one again. Just see it. This reflection as well, coming from another heavenly body. There is something that's definitely going down on the horizon, and it's getting a lot more. It's getting bigger than it was before. Can you see this now? If you look carefully, you can see this reflection that's here as well. This is not near our sun. This is not our sun. This is on the opposite side. Huge heavenly body. And I believe this is other large bodies as well, moons. I'm telling you, there is something big that's coming our way. It's heading right our way. Can you see again these huge reflections here and here? These are not clouds. This is a huge reflection from a heavenly body that's coming in. It's coming down the horizon again. I've seen this on different cams as well. And it disappears. You can see this, can't you? This reflection here. You can just see this now. This is not clouds. This is a huge celestial body that's basically going down. And this is what they're trying to hide. When this comes in, they will chemtrail as much as they can until the game's up, until it's over, and nobody can prepare. Well, we really need to get people to prepare now. It's so important. If you can't see this on the screen, please try and look if you can. It's very important. This is not our sun. Can you see the way that moved then? If I go back, you need to look dead center here, here and here, this area here. This is where the object is. And it's going down. It acts like a comet. Every time Earth rotates, people see it from different parts of the world. Chem training this, you see. They are chem training this object. You see it lighter and then darker and darker either side. You need to know this, it's very important. This is an object that's coming down on the horizon. There it is again. There and there. And then it disappears. You can still see the reflections, can't you, on the screen? Can you see this on the screen? I'm so pleased I caught this, but it's so faded, it's faded that you can see, can you see this again? This reflection coming up on the screen here, here, and here, and here. If you need to turn your monitors down or lift your monitors up, turn the tone down and the contrast, you will see these markings in the sky. And these are not from our natural sun, it's on the opposite side. I mean, you can see again, can't you? They're not from our sun. It's on the opposite side from a heavenly body. And I believe this to be Wormwood. If I go back, I apologise about the tapping on the screen. But if I go back, you can see now, can't you? These reflections, okay, here. This is a reflex, huge reflection from Wormwood. I'm telling you now, and I saw this last year as well on a video. I went over to Hull and I saw this and it just blew me away. And I got an email off uh, Steve Poyle as well. He's running the channel right now. And he was... Uh, Totally amazed by it as well. Many other people have noticed it, and uh, it's just basically a situation. This is what uh, the military are hiding right now. I know to some people, if they're using other devices like mobile phones, and they might not be able to see this, but if you was able to get it on a big screen, you can see these huge reflections. 
I'm going to go to another cam now, but the thing is, so this object is uh, moving like a comet, and it's so close now. It really is getting closer now. This is the uh, Marsantan cam in Mexico as well. You can just tell there's something strange going on in the skies, can't you? That total darkness on the right hand side. 7.59, nearly 8 p.m. a.m. It's basically uh, very dark there in Mexico, isn't it? Or when I've seen the webcams, it's just been very much lighter than this. And you can see that redness, can't you, on the right hand side as that plasma is coming up on the horizon. There's an object as well. The thing is, I mean, somewhere around here, you can just see something that's there coming up on the horizon. Another heavenly body. It's going to shock a lot of people when they see these heavenly bodies because we're so used to seeing the celestial body, the moon. And the sun, but now people are starting to wake up and see the uh, simulator instead of the sun, which is up there all the time. It's like a huge mirror that cloaks all these bodies right now, and also um, all these chemtrails. It's very strange because uh, people are starting to look up as well at the uh, chemtrail that goes on all the time, and people would admit now that they are chemtrailing more than ever before. Ever. I mean, the thing is. The more they chemtrail, the more I worry because basically they are hiding so much more now up there in the skies. And eventually we're going to see these objects, as I said before. And it's going to, as I said again, it's going to shock a lot of people out there, isn't it? The skies are dimming. This cam as well, the uh, Puerto cam in Mexico. I mean, look at the object in front of our sun. I mean, look at the haze and also those chemtrails, the ones we breathe in every day. And the cam is just darkening all the time because Mexico is supposed to be light in this now, this time of the year. I mean, you can see them chems, it's like a watery haze, isn't it? I mean, our sun is being blasted all the time, so we don't see anything. Every single cam is showing the truth, isn't it, now? They're starting to open up to what's going on in there. Our real lives up there in the skies. This huge event is coming in. It's been spoke about for years now. The government has given false dates. They put it in films. 2012, 1995. I mean, the thing is, so basically, that uh, they dampen down the truth all the time. Scrape it under the carpet and hope that no one sees anything. Hope, hope that people will be disinformed all the time. But again, we're all holding on to the truth, aren't we? We all know what's going to happen. Because we all wouldn't be watching the, the footage in the channels because we all know that the skies have completely changed now. We all want to know what's going on, don't we? We're all wising up to it now. And I think that's fantastic because all you subscribers, you know that something huge is going to happen shortly because uh, our sun has been trailed all the time, hiding something huge that's coming and I believe had to be Wormwood as we saw that on the horizon earlier on. Look on the opposite side of the sun as well to the west and you will see these huge shadows going down with this celestial object. Also here with the members of parliament in the UK and the House of Commons they all know that basically all the chemtrailing is uh, all going on they've set it up it's all part of a big deal with the uh, powers to be for the new world order. It's all happening now, isn't it? It's so evident up in the skies. And these people know, and they are milking our taxpayers' money every single day. Everything through our bills, to our renting, and paying off things. We're just taking money out of our pockets. It's just happening all over the world now. They are all in it together. They're pulling the wool over our eyes with these chemtrails using those planes, throwing money away. They don't care about us. They just care about their banking system and their uh, money laundering capabilities. They're just like corrupt criminals. They're at it all the time. They've got those underground bunkers. They know when the system is very, very much coming. The Vatican gives them information all the time with those uh, telescopes they use. All around the world, it's on standby because uh, this object that we saw on the horizon then, the Mexico cam, is on its way. 
They're hiding the truth from us. Keep tapping us our money all the time until the very end. So I just want to send a message. Just tell us. We need to know now. They need to disclose this. It's very important now. Here on this uh, live stream Switzerland camp, you can see here, can't you? It's lower clouds and also um, way up in the mountains there. They do this. The thing is, look at those chemtrails as well. As the sun is going down on this camp. You can see that chemtrail as well. They are hiding these objects up there. You can see blatantly that what they're doing as well. Don't want you to see anything crisscrossing the skies with these chemtrails every single day. Here on this live webcam as well in Switzerland again, this mountain cam. There you can see that pink reflection again. That's not from our sun, that's from Nibiru. That pinkness in the sky. On the top of the cam here you can see this. The chem trailing as well on this cam. Right across the sun's gone down. You get the pink reflection as well on the clouds and the mountains. We're seeing the same pink reflection as well on the NASA Ustream caps. Again, it's just keeping an eye to the skies. There's something moving here. So anyway, I'm going to go to another cam image for you. But the thing is, so the skies and also the reflection on the snow. You can see this. I apologise about the cam stopping. It's a long way away from the UK. So the Ustream, the, the uh, streaming video would... Uh, Basically, uh, stop and start. It's a long way from, uh, from home. Here you can see again on this other Switzerland cow. This is in central Switzerland, a place called uh, Lusar. Now, you could see, you've seen them as chems as the uh, sun has gone down on the horizon. I mean, look at all the trash in the sky that you can see, and also, it's still very dark, isn't it? For that time of the day. Now, they pump in the skies all the time all over the world now you can see this as well i mean here over where i am and where you are as well around the areas and around the world the skies are being uh, cloaked all the time by these uh, toxic few chemtrails you can see here this is another chemtrail that's coming on a funny angle there and all this trash in the sky that we're seeing all the time it's every single day now it's, um, they're doing this and tomorrow I'll be doing another uh, video as well. The, uh, see what's going up up there as well on the uh, with the sun, temperatures and things and what have you. And uh, do some UK cams as well and USA cams because everywhere now is just absolutely uh, changing. The skies have just been trashed all the time now, aren't they? And I had a new uh, email from a new subscriber that uh, sent me a message saying that. Um, He's seen the skies as well, very strange, and he's watching the channel and he's so pleased now as well. But, um, he's noticing the same as what we're noticing as well. So uh, it's good to know that others are now joining in and noticing the skies, of, uh, the changing skies, the government, uh, what they're doing. They need to stop this and let us see what's going on. Because this is our planet, we need and we deserve to see this. Here on this uh, live Ustream NASA cam as well. Well, 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 we've got chemtrails, thick toxins up there in the skies. Now, again, it's very interesting, the colour source, the reflection, the colouring. We're seeing this yellow, lemony colour that we see in the skies as well. The sun in the simulator. This strange colour is not from our natural sun. It's being covered and cloaked. And also, these heavenly bodies have got different colours. The shadows, the darkness, the yellowness, the red colouring as well. Now, NASA sadly turned the cows round so we just don't see what's going on with the sun. They should turn the cow round so we can see the truth now. So we can all prepare for this. Because they, when they do turn the cow round, it's just basically, uh, it's not in high definition, is it? It's in a very low definition is it's a low grade camera i mean it's they're high grade but the thing is though they turn the grade down they turn the quality down so we don't get to see it's very fuzzy isn't it but i mean you can see these clouds are completely different from what they were before look at the state of them just toxins and trash every single time we're seeing this and please understand as well that this coloring of the uh, sky the sun the reflection on on those chems and on the uh, 
space station. This yellowness is just not right at all, and we all know this now. I noticed these two objects as well on this uh, cam as well, way up there in the uh, vastness of uh, space. You can see this kind of these two objects. Very interesting times. There's something that's out there, isn't there? There's loads of things that are out there that we need to, uh, that needs to be disclosed now. It's very important. Here also on this NASA Ustream cam, it's very, very yellow, lemony color. It's very dull, isn't it? It's not our sun. This is not from our sun. This is from another heavenly body. And down on the, uh, looking down at the earth there, it's just very uh, blocked. So people can't see it. The military is spraying our skies and they can't see it. It's just plastered all over the sky now, these chems. Thick as poisons. Trillions of taxpayers' money being thrown up in the skies just to hide the truth. Because once people know that the truth, they know the truth that basically that Nibiru and the brand of all star is right by our sun heading our way. Havoc will just avail the whole world. You know, basically, um, they just won't believe government anymore. They won't trust the powers to be. They will just fight and basically save for their lives with their families and stuff and feed and just basically uh, loot us a bit out. There'll be so much trouble, you know, that they will be so much in shock that we've been lied to all the time. I'm going to leave you now with this image, okay? Now, we saw the other images as well, that yellowy, darkness of the um, object that's by our sun, the reflection on the Earth as well. But now we're getting this, uh, the, inter the International Space Station is on the opposite side now, okay? Now they're picking up a red reflection. Can you see that on the Earth as well? Those chems that are above the big cities around the world, so nobody can't see them. It's just out of order that people are not getting to see these objects because um, the red reflections are everywhere now out there in space. And we need to prepare for this because we're seeing the colours now, the colours of the uh, heavenly bodies. I'm going to go now, so have a great evening. And uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. So take care. Respect from Matt Rogers.